today we received an iPad Mini 5 that has no backlight. According to the customer, the connector for the LCD is damaged and the iPad doesn't show backlight. After checking under the microscope, we see that the connector does have some minor damage on the left side. However, this is not the cause of the backlight issue, so we have to do further investigation. So let's take the motherboard out and do some more testing. Now we remove the sticker that is covering the circuits by the connector and check one more time under the microscope. Here we see that by the LCD connector there is an area that is burned. It looks as if something has been blown away. Let's open the schematic software to verify which components were affected. On the software we see that in the affected area there are two filters. We go to the schematics to see which line those filters connect to. We find the line and then we put the name in the search box and begin searching. After scrolling over a couple pages, we find that this line is related to the backlight. So this is what we know up to this point. This is the affected area and the filter on the left blew away. Once we click on the other side of the filters, we see that the line runs to the connector. Now we click one more time on the opposite side of the filters and the line runs to the other side of the motherboard. So my next step is to check this area for short circuits and to test the two diodes. We put our multimeter on continuity and test the line for short circuits. After not finding any shorts, we switch the multimeter to diode mode and test the two diodes and they are both working. Now we clean the burnt area with plugs, solder and alcohol. The part of the connector that was broken fell off so we will replace it after we restore the backlight. After we're done with the cleaning we take the tweezers and expose the line that went missing. This is followed by a final cleaning. Now we test the second filter by checking for continuity on both sides. Since we're not getting continuity, the filter is damaged and it needs to be replaced. We check the line that we exposed with the multimeter on diode mode and we see that it's active and is giving us a reading of 0.472. So now we remove the damaged filter and we see that we are missing two traces. To recap, the filter on the left was blown away, the one on the right was damaged and it did not give continuity. Also we are missing two traces, however the line that we exposed is still active. So now let's rebuild the trace on the active line. We add solder, then we use these pre-cut copper traces to reconstruct the line. The next step is to install the filter. At the time of recording this video, we did not have a donor motherboard to transfer the exact components, so we used a filter from another device and did a small modification. We soldered the filter to the trace that was going to the connector and to the other side of the line that we had reconstructed. Then we tested again and the line read 0.470 on both sides of the filter on diode mode which means that the line is active. So now it's time to assemble and verify if we get backlight. We install the motherboard in the housing, connect the charger, and there it is. The backlight is back. Now all we have to do is replace the broken connector and send the tablet back to the customer. If you want to learn how to do repairs similar to this, join us in our next five day Microsoft in training. If you have a device that needs to be repaired by a professional, click the link below to our mailing program. Thanks for watching.